Anyway, I seen him put tissues on the top of the stand, you know, like where the witnesses. Okay. We had 30 witnesses up there. They never had tissues up there. He gets up. He's sitting there, you know, he gets on the stand. This motherfucker was better than Al Pacino in the scent of a woman. Really? He started crying. I mean, he was good. Yeah. I'm sitting there. I said, maybe I did do this? What the <laughs> yeah, fuck? He, he started. Had, to, yeah, he had. I'm fucking. I said, I didn't do this, but this, he was good. Yeah. Fucking He's making jury, you think, he had the like, jury's attention. Happened. He fucking. Yeah. He cried his eyes out. He said he couldn't go home. His main thing was as soon as, soon as they locked me up, he had to go home. They had 24 hour protection around his house. His kids couldn't go to soccer games, softball games. They had to sit in the house. They were scared to death. Like, yeah. I mean, he made this, it sounded good. Yeah. I mean, he, he was good. I got to give it to him. Absolutely. So, anyway, that's why there's a God. My cousin, who's a priest, mm -hmm. Father Kelly. The best. <clears throat> now, he knows I'm locked up. He, he comes. They tried to bury him, too. That's another story, I'll tell you. The media, you know, of they course. put him on the front of the paper. Yeah. Anyway. The, my father, the priest comes to my lawyer. He calls my mother. My mother calls the lawyer. Yeah. And the guy said that as soon as he locked me up, he was so scared to death. He went home, 24-hour police surveillance outside his house. Kids couldn't go to school, soccer games, softball, the whole thing, crying. Yeah. I said, look at this. He forgot. He lied. Yeah. We find out through my cousin, the priest, there's a, 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 a company that cleans the church. I don't know the guy. I don't know who he is. Okay. So now it was like big headlines. I was on the front page of the paper every day. Yeah. So the guy just says, he don't know he's my cousin, Father Kelly. He said, you hear about that case, the Merlino case? He's like, he's like, yeah, I heard a little bit about it. He said, yeah. He said, I, I, I know the cop, Panero. He said, oh, you know me. He said, yeah. He said, I went golfing with him that, that day uh, they locked Merlino. Wow. So my, my lawyer's like, golfing? So if he was that scared when he's golfing, he's shooting <laughs> right, 18. Right, golfing. Wow. Now, they never told you to tell us. And meanwhile, I got his report. The day he locked me up, my lawyer blew it up fucking 20 feet in the air. It's a 302. Yeah. It's, it's what the FBI writes, a 302 okay. report. He, he wrote on the report everything. We fought outside cursing, you know, fuck you, this, that. He never put in there that I threatened him. This is 10 minutes after he locked me up. Yeah. If I threatened him, why didn't he write it down right there? Of course, there? yeah. He never put that in there. They, they, it, it, was was all made, it was all made up. Yeah. yeah. So anyway... My lawyer's got him on the stand after all the crying and everything. My lawyer says, tell the jury where you went. As soon as you lock Merlino up, tell them where you went. Right after that. Yeah. Because he said he went home with the cops. Of villains. He said, he's like, he's like, he didn't want to answer the question. My lawyer said, listen. And he said, I went golfing. Wow. You went golfing. You were scared to death, threatened for your life. You went golfing. He went to shoot 18. And my lawyer said, by the way, you know, what did you shoot? That was his last question. <laughs> yeah. The jury was laughing. Of like, course. And they acquitted me in a half hour, whatever the fuck Just it was. Just like that, it was done. I got acquitted. I, I didn't do it. 